So good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the class uh, on investment management, where we, we are discussing the GTU 2000 uh, case study. Uh, this is the part two of the same session which we did in the last class. Uh, in the last class, we discussed the first two part of the question. So if you notice in this uh, in this question, amount is given rupees thousand was invested in equity stock of Tata Company. Part A of the question was like that. Was part B of the question was like that rupees thousand invested in the equity stock of Wipro. So for that, we had to find the expected return in standard deviation. Here you need to understand this amount doesn't matter. Uh, like what is the value of that amount doesn't matter. So this amount thousand rupees is giving us that intention that hundred percent of my money, if I put in Tata company, then how much a return will I get? And what would be the risk for that? So already we discussed in, in the previous class that if I put my hundred percent of money uh, in, in Tata, then my expected return is 57.5%. Then my expected return is 57.5%. While if I put 100% of my money in Wipro company, then my uh, expected return would be 60%. So uh, I believe by this time, you can understand the difference between expected return and historical return. So the historical return formula was the sum of data divided by number of data. So that formula we use when the historical data was given to us. Expected return, uh, we use that notation whenever the data is given in the term of probability. So once the expected return uh, of Tata and Wipro is given, okay, so then uh, we found uh, their standard deviation. We found their standard deviation and the standard deviation of Tata, what I found was around 7.15%. Understand everything is in percentage. And the standard deviation of Wipro, what we found was around 13.2287. Uh, to analyze them, uh, to analyze like which is better if I have to ask option A and option B, which is better. Like if I put, if I put my 100% of money in Tata, if I put my 100% of money in Tata, then what is my return? If I put my 100% of money in Tata, what is my return? What is my risk? So if I'm putting 100% of money in Tata, then my return, Tata and Wipro, two companies are given here. Tata and Wipro. So, so which which is better investment? So Tata. If you talk about the return, the return is fifty seven point five. Tata return is fifty seven point five, and the risk is, and the risk of Tata is, is uh seven point one five eight nine. This is seven point one five eight nine. That is the square root of uh, 51.25 okay so then are uh, talking about wipro the expected return is 60 and the risk here and the risk is 13.2287 13.2287 13 now if i ask you which is the better source of investment so which is better tata is better or wipro is better for for all this whenever you have to make decision you make a you make a ratio between risk and return. You make a ratio between risk and return. So the ratio between risk and return, 57.5 divided by 7.1589. And this is 60 divided by 113.2287. So here, if I, if I do this, if I do this, so what is risk by return? So return by risk ratio if i talk about return and risk ratio so return by risk ratio if i do for tata and wipro so i can do that part so this is what 57.5 divided by 57.5 divided by 7.15 that is 8.031 this is 8.031 what about wipro uh, wipro is is 60 divided by 60 divided by 60 divided by 13.2. This is around 4.53. This is 4.53. So you can understand if you do the risk return trade off, which is better, Tata is better. So whenever, uh, when if, because as an investor, you always want to maximize your return with a minimum possible amount of risk. So if you do this trade off, so 
which is better option for you definitely tata is a better option for you so this this is the first two part of the question then then the third part of the question is like 500 rupees invested in tata 500 rupees invested in wipro what is expected return so if i do the third part of the question that the 500 means 50% of money in tata and 50% of investment tata and 50% of investment in wipro so if i do then what is my expected return so then my expected return does not depend on standard deviation and all so my expected return the formula of that is the weight of uh, weight of individual stocks into their individual returns so 50% of money means 50% means 0.5 into the return of tata tata returns 57.5 57.5 plus 50% of money uh in in wipro that was 60 so half of this so so what is my expected return so this would be 2 uh 17 17 matlab 6 uh 16 1 15 7 5 28 7 5 and this is 30 so you will get around 58.75 percent this is your expected return so this is your this is one return this is your expected return so this is your expected return this is your expected return 58.75 so 58.75 if i put 50 percent of money in tata and 50 percent of money in the pro then my expected then my expected return is around how much is 58.75 is 58.75 percent then my expected return is 58.75 Seven five percent. Then my expected return is fifty eight point seven five percent. Okay. Now, if I want to uh, calculate the risk, if I want to calculate the risk on the portfolio, if I want to calculate the risk on the portfolio, so I the what is the portfolio? That portfolio consists of fifty percent of money in Tata, fifty percent of money in Vipro. So you have to understand that if you bring two variable. Or more than two variable into picture, then the uh, then what happens? Then the individual variance will go down, but a new form form of risk will arise. Uh, that is called covariance. So here the formula, the variance of this will be W one square sigma one square. Same formula. I hope you understand. By this time you should buy at two W one W two is the covariance between one and two. But here till now we have not find their covariance. so what is the covariance formula so covariance formula i i hope everyone remember covariance formula is summation of x minus x bar summation when probability is given then the covariance formula is summation of pi into rx minus erx into ry into ery ry into ery so i can find the i can i can i can find the covariance i can find their covariance so covariance i can find them their covariance so already i have rx minus erx already i have rx already i have rx minus erx this is this is rx minus erx this is rx minus erx okay and then this is ry minus ery this is ry minus ery let me increase the size so this is already rx minus erx this is ry minus ery if i multiply them if i multiply them so if i multiply them with their probability if i multiply them with their probability so probability into rx minus erx okay and into ry into ery into ry minus ery so if i do the sum of this i get their covariance so simple calculation so i do probability i check the probability probability this is the probability this i multiply with rx 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 is rx this is rx minus erx Into R Y minus E R Y. This is R Y minus E R Y. I multiply them. Okay, and if I do the sum of this, 
if i do the sum of this so this is this this is the covariance this is the covariance so already this is the covariance so this is the covariance covariance this is the formula of covariance so this is the formula of covariance so this is the formula of covariance so i just need to do the sum of this so this is the formula of covariance same thing which you know same thing we are repeating again again this is the formula of covariance sum of pi into rx minus erx into ry into ery ry ry into ery ry into ery so if i do uh, if i do this sum so i'll get the covariance covariance between both the stocks uh, is minus 77.5 it is minus 77.5 once i got this now for me the homework would be very easy okay now once i got this one once i got this for me the homework would be very easy so now the variance of the portfolio so 50% of money uh, into a uh, variance of of one suppose one is anything one is your one was what tata or vipro one is tata so what is the what is the variance 51.25 so this is 51.25 plus 0.5 square what was the variance of other so the variance of other so the variance of other wipro that is 175 that was 175 175 plus 2.5 into 0.5 into covariance covariance is minus 77.5 minus 77.5 so you do this you do this this is 0 0.25 0 0.25 into 0.25 into into 51.25 plus 0 0.25 into 175 plus 2 into 0 0.5 i can write 1 by 2 0 0.5 i can write 1 by 2 into minus 77.5 do this calculation this is one fourth of this do this this is one fourth of this this two and two will get cancelled so one fourth of this is what uh, divide by if i do divide by four so 52 divide by four is how much 13 no 13 so 12 point something you'll get 1 1 11 so 11 32 8 1 10 to 5 12 point 8 1 2 5 uh, this is what 4 15 15 means what 3 30 30 means what 7 43.75 and this is minus not plus this is half of this so minus minus 3 17 17 means 8 6, 15 15 means 7 so minus 38.75 do this calculation let me know if there's any calculation mistake so 12.8125 so plus 43.75 minus 38.75 let me know if there's any calculation mistake the variance of the portfolio do this use calculator find this value 12.8125 12 12 then this is 43.75 this is 6 this is 50, 6 uh, 56.5625 minus 38.75 this is 25 uh, this is 1 this is 8 this is what 15 15 means 7 17. Point Eight one two five. I can find the standard deviation of portfolio square root of this seventeen point eight one two five. Find the square root of this so seventeen point eight one point two two four point two two four point two two zero four 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 point two two zero four. So this is the standard deviation of the portfolio. Tell me if there's any calculation mistake. So if you realize suddenly the, the, the standard deviation reduced so much, the standard deviation reduced so much because the covariance is negative, you can understand. Because as it is mentioned in the problem that one stock performed well during recession time, another stock performed well during growth time. So automatically with that, you can understand.
that uh, automatically with that you can understand that uh, the the beta of the two stop sorry beta i'm telling r if you find the r of the two stop definitely it would be negative so the standard deviation of portfolio is 4.2204 divided by 4.2204 So if you find this value, find this value, 58.75, 58.75 divided by 4.2204, 13.92, So till now the, the best option is option third. Now, anyone, any doubt? Any doubt, anyone? Any calculation mistake, let me know. Anywhere, if you find any calculation mistake, let me know. So, Clear everyone? <coughs> okay, so I so the the next part of the question is is what uh, that seven hundred rupees invested in Tata, three hundred in Wipro, seven hundred in Tata. Uh, 300 in Wipro means uh, it means percent in Tata, 30 percent in Wipro. So 70, same thing, 70 percent in Tata, 30 percent in Wipro. If I talk about this, so if I talk about another part of the portfolio, if I talk about the other part of the portfolio, where if I invest, so 70 percent of my equity, 70 percent of my investment in Tata. 70% of my investment in Tata and 30% and of my investment in the Pro. So you understand. So total investment I'm doing 1000 rupees. So 700 rupees in Tata and 30 rupees in the Pro means 70% of my investment in Tata and 30% of my investment in the Pro. So what is my expected return? So my expected uh, return is equal to here, so same formula WI summation WI into RI, so 0.7 into return, return on Tata, so 57.5 and 60, 57.5 and 60, so 57.5 and 60, 0.3 into 60, and the pro return 60. No? So I, I know that was just reconfirming, so the pro return is 60. Yeah. So 70 percent, 7, 7 Pfizer, 35, 3 carry, uh, 49, 52, 5 carry, 5 carry means 50, 5 carry means 40, check me if any mistake, 3 decimal, so, so 40.25 plus this is what, uh, 30 percent, 18, no? 6, 3 is 18. So how much you get? 58.75, 58.25. Anywhere any mistake, let me know. So 57.5 into 0 0.7, 40.25 plus 18, correct. Right. So once you got this, so, so the seven, so here the return is 58.25. Here the return is uh, if 70% of money in Tata and 30% of my investment in the Pro. 30% of my investment in the Pro. 
So then my expected return is 58.25. My expected return is 58.25%. Okay. Then a risk. What is the risk? If I talk about the risk, what is the risk on investment? What is the risk on portfolio? Where seventy percent of money, where seventy percent of money is invested in Tata, and thirty percent of money is invested in Wipro. What is the risk on the portfolio? So use the formula: W one square sigma one square plus W two square into sigma two square plus two W two into covariance between one and two. So covariance does it not depend on the weights? So it doesn't matter. So the risk on the portfolio W one square W means point seven point seven square into sigma one square sigma sigma one square. So sigma one sigma means what was the standard deviation of one and two? So this is standard deviation seven point sigma one. So so this square of that. How much was that value? How much was that value of Tata? Fifty one point two five. So fifty one point two five. Fifty one point two five plus point three square into what is the standard deviation variance of other one? One seventy five plus two W one W two point seven into point three. Into covariance, covariance was how much? Minus seventy-seven something. Minus seventy-seven point five. Minus seventy-seven point five. So the variance of the portfolio. This is point four nine into fifty-one point two five plus point zero nine into one seventy-five plus this value. Find this value. So this is. Two into two into point seven into point three into minus seventy seven point five. You'll get thirty two point five five. So this is minus thirty two point five five. So the variance of the portfolio. So this is point four nine into fifty one point two five. This is twenty five point one one two five. This is twenty five point one one two five plus point zero nine into one seventy five. That is fifteen point seven five minus thirty two point five five. Variance of the portfolio. So this is fifteen point seven five plus twenty five point. One one two five minus thirty two point five five. So this is eight point three one two five. So do the square root of this. Square root of this, if you do, what is the square root of this? Eight point three one two five. If you do, you'll get two point eight eight three one. Anyone? Any doubt? So this is the standard deviation of the portfolio when seventy percent of money is invested in Tata and thirty percent of money is invested in Wipro. Two point eight eight three one. Two point eight eight three one. Two point eight eight three one. So this is two point eight eight three one. So if you find the trade off, this is fifty eight point two five divided by two point eight eight three one. So if you divide this. So if you divide this, fifty eight point two five divided by two point eight eight three one, so which so you are getting twenty point two zero three nine four. So out of all, which is the best option? The option four: seventy percent of money in Tata and thirty percent of money in Metro. So this is what. This is the complete solution of the case study. So sixteen marks, sixteen marks you will get from this. There's nothing was there in this question. So in this question, seven uh, hundred rupees invested in the equity stock of Tata, and three hundred rupees invested in Bitro. So four four marks for everything. 
teach a 16 marks so easy uh, hardly it will take i think 10 or so, maximum 15 minute or 10 or 15 minute and you will get 16 marks so which of the which of the above four option would you choose and why so which is the which is the which one will i choose i choose the option fourth one why will i choose because but why will i choose this why will will i choose a fourth option because it is a general assumption that all in all investors are risk averse investors risk averse investors means what do we risk averse investor we want to maximize our return we all it's not like any we all want to maximize our return with the minimum possible risk with the minimum possible uh, risk so, so so we'll go with that option which is giving us the maximum return with the minimum amount of risk which i'll take so out of the four option if i look at the return way if i look for the return way then i should go with this option but but again if i go with i should go with this option but here the risk but here when when sorry so if I, if i if i if i have to go through all options so it look like uh, this is very good option but but yeah but if you see the risk return trade off one unit of risk if you are taking you you are getting only four unit of return here but here if you take one unit of risk you are getting 20 unit of return definitely you should go with option 4 clear everyone questions are not at all difficult only thing i am expecting from your end that you do hard work solve these questions same formulas are repeating in like majority of questions you just need to solve them to get the answer anyone any doubt anyone any doubt <laughs> 